When we talk about people as a resource, we look at the value they add to our lives or to a situation. From the moment Kenya attained her independence in 1963, the accountancy profession has been at the core of the country's socioeconomic transformation. The Institute of Certified Public Accountants of Kenya, that is ISPAC, which was established in 1978 by the Accountants Act CAP 531 to develop and regulate the accountancy profession in Kenya, is today one of the most influential institutions that is crucial in providing information that is key in making informed economic decisions that spur national economic growth and development. ISPAC is a professional organization that regulates the activities of all certified public accountants, the CPAKs in Kenya. In 2008, a new Accountants Act No. 15 was enacted to replace the 1978 Accountants Act to take into account the various developments that had shaped the accounting profession in Kenya and globally. From an initial 400 members at its inception in 1978, today ISPAC has over 14,000 members with nine branches countrywide and two chapters in South Africa and the United Kingdom. Uh, ISPAC has come up with uh, branches which are nine currently because uh, initially ISPAC was operating in Nairobi but because of devolved government we have decided, ISPAC has decided to move to branch levels whereby the branches are mandated to uphold ISPAC brand one by ensuring there is quality of accountants, the accountants who are in those regions uphold the standards which ISPAC require. Two, the branches are supposed to uh, promote registration of new members. Going back to the early 70s, uh, the government set up a working party to look into the whole area of training young Kenyans in the area of accountancy, auditing and financial management in general. And uh, that working party, when uh, it concluded its work, recommended that uh, government should promote legislation to promote and regulate the training and harnessing of accountants for Kenya. Let me just mention some of the two things that make me feel so high about our institute. If we have been tracking in our institute in terms of size, we are the biggest in East and Central Africa, over 30,000 members. That's something to be proud of. And especially when I see some of the members who started the institute in 1978 when they had no office, but one day they had a vision, and that's why we are having a conference that is ongoing. When there were 102 colleges training accountants in this country, and today, because of their vision, we have many, including a college that has transformed into a university. I think we might be the only professional institute, possibly in Africa, with a university. From a humble member number one, CPA Wycliffe Ogot, whom I spoke with two weeks ago, and was supposed to be here, but for one reason or the other, is not able to make it, to our youngest member, Number 13,401, CPA Henry Ndungu Kinyanjui, your institute boasts of a strong membership base. And third in Africa, after Nigeria, 38,000, and South Africa, 32,000. The benefits of being a member are immense. These include the right to use the CPAK designation, recognition within the local and international labor market, East Africa, South Africa, Caribbean islands and Australia, regular updating of skills through continuous programs of development, that is CPD, access to career services provided free of charge at the institute, representation of members' professional interests through relationship building with related partners, technical commentaries and lobbying to relevant partners such as the Kenya Revenue Authority, Retirement Benefit Authority, Insurance Regulation Authority, etc. Affiliation through ISPAC to international bodies such as the International Federation of Accountants, that is IFAC or EFAC, the International Accounting Standards Board, IASB, 
the Pan-African Federation of Accountants, that is PAFA or PAFA, and access to professional tools, model, audit file and manual, updated lists of audit firms, updated directories, directory, IFRSs, ISAs, insurance and banking templates for financial reporting, to name but a few. The Institute of Certified Public Accountants of Kenya is today one of the most influential institutions that is crucial in providing information that is key in making informed economic decisions that spur national economic growth and development. I see a situation whereby uh, this institute, people come to benchmark from wide and far on what we are doing, on issues of professional standards, on issues of public, uh, public policy, on matters of uh, marketing, on matters of communication, on uh, matters of audit and assurance. And uh, we want to see an institute where every other accountant would be proud to be associated with it. The institute leadership has changed significantly. We are seeing young members joining the council. We are seeing people from the public sector joining the council. I think we need an advisory council that is able to steer the institute, is able to advise the leadership of the institute uh, so that they can be able to make good decisions and steer our institute going forward. Under the Accountants Act number 15 of 2008, the functions of the institute include the promotion of standards in professional competence and practice amongst members of the institute, promotion of research into the subject of accountancy and finance and related matters, and the publication of books, periodicals, journals, and articles in connection therewith, promotion of the international recognition of the institute, advising the examination board on matters relating to examination standards and policies, advising the Treasury Cabinet Secretary on matters relating to financial accountability in all sectors of the economy, carrying out any other functions prescribed for it under any other provisions of this Act or any other written law, and do anything incidental or conducive to the performance of any of the preceding functions. The Institute is governed by an 11-member council that comprises a chairman elected from the members of the Institute. The day-to-day -day operations of ISPAC are undertaken by the management team headed by the Chief Executive who is also the Secretary to the Council. The Chief Executive oversees the day-to-day -day operations of ISPAC with a group of professional staff who are stationed at the Institute's offices. ISPAC is committed to the protection of public interest through its advocacy for the adoption of proper governance and the establishment of effective risk management and internal control systems within organizations in both public and private sectors. When you think of all the audit firms that are doing consultancy work, you know, PricewaterhouseCoopers, KPMG, Deloitte & Touche, Ernst & Young, PKF, Grant Thornton, all of these, these firms are actually doing consultancy work, a lot of it for the government, a lot of it for the international aid agencies. They are actually doing incredibly good work, work of an incredibly high standard. And they're doing it. One of the reasons they're doing it is because of the fact that, well, they have a body to which they belong, and this body requires them to do work of that particular level of quality. East Park's advisory role on matters of financial accountability has been appreciated by the National Treasury. Mr. Speaker, to sustain the momentum of tax reform and modernization, we will review the Income Tax Act from July this year. During this review, we shall consider the many submissions presented by stakeholders, in addition to benchmarking the new bill to the international best practice. In this regard, I wish to thank the Institute of Public Accounts of Kenya and other tax experts for their contributions. The Institute has had high-profile engagements with the government and other stakeholders, all aimed at amplifying the Institute's voice in promoting financial accountability and good corporate governance, such as the establishment of the Public Sector Accounting Board. This is crucial for all sectors of the economy. Since the promulgation of the Constitution in 2010, ISPAC has closely monitored and scrutinized public policy and governance as is envisaged in the devolved system of governance. The Institute of Certified Public Accountants um, promotes the accountancy profession in this country um, and the Institute, in my view, has contributed a lot to promoting the accountancy profession in this country. 
ensuring that uh, more and more men and women join the accountancy profession. And when I, I narrow down to the role of ISPAC in promoting governance, I think the, the Institute has been very vocal in promoting governance in the country. As you are aware, the Institute has uh, participated in the appointment of uh, certain constitutional offices, such as mine. Actually, the chair, the, the, the institute is a member of the panel that uh, rec recruited the control of budget and also the auditor general. So in general, I think the institute has been very, very visible in areas of governance, uh, promoting the accountancy profession. Devolution is key to enhancing Kenya's governance and improving service delivery to its citizens. The need for effective budgeting has therefore never been greater than in the current environment of increased demands for funds focus on rapid development amidst expectations that service delivery can be delivered at reduced costs. In the achievement to this end, ISPAC engages the Office of the Auditor General and Control of Budget to foster prudent management of public resources at county and national level, which will help in the escalation of national development and spark growth. There are a lot of demands from stakeholders in terms of the expectations from an accountant and, uh, and by extension the expectations to the institute. You will note that there are instances the accountant is expected to deliver beyond the accountancy services. There are situations where we as an institute, we expected to participate in matters of public interest beyond accountancy, like issues of public policy. The relationship uh, between the ISPAC and uh, the Office of the Auditor General is very, very clear. The mandate of the Office of the Auditor General is, uh, one of them is to certify the accounts of the government, national, county, public bodies, projects, and so forth. As for the accounts of um, the, the national and uh, county, the certification must be based on institute standards, on auditing standards, on accounting standards. And therefore, the institute pronunciations have a direct bearing on the way we work, and indeed, Almost 40% of my staff effective are institute members. So that's a very clear um, uh, relationship and uh, indeed uh, uh, as a strong person, a strong institution which the institute should uh, leverage with. The milestones that ISPAC has achieved are tremendous. ISPAC has been able to construct a 12-story complex block that was started in 2012. The institution is also the founder and sponsor of the KCA University. One of the biggest achievements for the institute is being one of the, and the only one, uh, I would say in Africa, with a university. Uh, in, uh, several years ago, uh, the government noted a gap uh, in terms of professional skills. And uh, the institute conducted a study and found that there was a huge gap uh, in terms of the accountants that were being produced for the economy. And that was the initial uh, thinking or thought of a college that could uh, train accountants. And that is when we came up with the Kenya College of Accountancy. That college has grown, it has evolved, and now it's called KCA University, uh, which is now a fully chartered university. I can only say that KCA University's future is bright. And having gotten the right partners, that have the financial muscle and importantly the expertise to be able to transform the university to, the, to, to where we want it to be, the future can, can only be bright. We, ex we expect enhanced infrastructure to, uh, to the university. We expect uh, uh, expertise uh, both in education and also in other operational areas to be able to take the university to where it, it, it needs to be. And, and for the institute, we expect dividends flow out of this uh, a partnership, dividends that uh, basically will help the institute to meet its mandate. It's good to point out that since the institute established KCA University, not even a penny has actually flowed back to the institute because of the structure of the university as it were now. But this partnership 
brings in economic benefit to the to, to the institute. So both the future of the institute and the future of the university looks very very great under this partnership arrangement. KCA is attracting students from all over Africa. We are constantly engaged with our student to create an environment which is home away from home. But how are we doing that? One is the mental and ethical stability. And the other one is intellectual stability. And then you will be able to create a well-grounded well-rounded person who is ready to move in the field. Mentoring is part and parcel of the education system that we have on board and our faculty are committed and realigned and that's the reason our students are the best voice to what we do. I'm very pleased to, to tell you that well over 30% of accountants in Kenya today are graduates of KCA. They are some of the most transformative leaders in the field of accounting and finance. On an individual level, over the years, its members have continued to excel in different walks of life. Allow me also to congratulate FCP Ndungu Gadinji for having been awarded the IFAX Sempia Award in the just concluded World Congress of Accountants, which was held in Rome, Italy. I witnessed the award. And I was telling my council members, some of, some, some of them were not aware that we were going to get that award, that Nigerians have really pitched Africa very high on the day one of the Africa Congress of Accountants. But the Nigerians were there in big numbers. The Nigerian Institute, ICANN, supported, sub sponsored what is called academic partnership for IFAC. So their president was given a moment to speak and you know how Nigerians are, the biggest economy in Africa, they want to be among the brinks and all that. But I told the Kenyans who are there, our day is coming on Thursday, where Kenya will be put on the map of the world and indeed on the entire map of Africa. And when that moment came, FCP Ndungu Gadinji did justice to the time that it was allocated to him and he really made us proud. I think it requires another clap. This award also recognizes Ndungu's tireless work to promote the accountancy profession in Kenya and throughout Africa, including his pioneering efforts with the Eastern, Central, and South African Federation of Accountants and the Institute of Public Accountants in Kenya. All of which have ensured that the value of the profession is understood and embraced in Africa in a way that would never have been possible without his efforts. Ndungu helped establish the African Federation of Stock Exchanges Association in 1993 and has served as its Honorable Secretary since. He was also a member of the Standards Advisory Council of the International Accounting Standards Committee and an observer representing Africa at the United Nations Conference on Trade and Development's Intergovernmental Working Group of Experts on International Standards of Accounting and Reporting. In full, Ndungus served IFAC for 23 years. And he has served the accountancy profession during his entire distinguished career. He is a recognized leader and a passionate activist for our profession. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present the 2014 recipient of the IFAC Sempier Award, Ndungu Gadinji. Everyone has agreed that Africa is on the rise. If you need convincing, just ask the Chinese or look around this hall. Those, those who look at Africa through the lens of desperate migrants 
seeking to get to Europe are missing something and should perhaps stop and consider where that do or die spirit comes from. Not, not being satisfied with one's lot in life is after all a prerequisite to bettering oneself. The best from Africa is yet to come. East Park is confident of maintaining its commitment to providing exceptional member services and the preservation of the accountancy profession in the entire East African region. Its vision is to become a more robust and influential body that delivers the best of services to meet its members' needs and safeguarding public interests. Every individual must see himself, herself, uh, in the light of uh, changing demands and therefore no end to education, they must continue to invest in educating themselves, educating their staff, uh, training their staff as much as possible uh, to be able to cope uh, with the demands of, of the profession, uh, remaining true to our vision of, of uh